What's going on, everybody? I'm doing a little bit of a Star Wars, uh, Star Wars pre-release opening today. So we got the uh, we got the playmat here, Star Wars. I got my uh, my deck, got my deck box going after some pre-release, and I got a couple boxes to crack to show for you guys. So obviously, I'm not going to do prices in the uh, in the video for today um, because it, it prices are just too unknown. Um, but we're going to go through, I'll show you guys what cards to look for, what looks uh, interesting, what's in the pre-release kit box. So we got our six booster packs. Okay, we're going to open that. We got a deck box, uh, Star Wars deck box. We have our promo cards, and uh, then we got the rules. So we have the rules coming in along with some tokens. So we're cracking two. Um, we're going to actually just go ahead and rip it. In general, I've noticed that you average about one or so legendary card per pre-release kit or per, you know, six boxes or sorry, six packs of this. And uh, legendary seems pretty hard to pull. Uh, legendary borderless, even harder to pull. So we're going to open one of the uh, one of the promos. I'm going to keep the other promo sealed. These are actually the backs because they are your leader. Uh, so the promo cards are Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. And the backs, uh, you know, they are able to play with their one-time ability. Um, you know, if you're interested in checking out how to learn how to play the game, I'll try to link uh, a good channel that kind of goes through the rules and such on that. So that's what those look like. We are going to rip, and again, looking for some crazy foils, rare foils, borderless foils. Those are the things that are going to really be the heavy hitters. So the pack starts off, we got a rare. We have C, U, Rare, and L. So Emperor Palpatine Rare, this is the regular version of the card. Um, 006 for the card number. You always start with a leader card on the front, then a base. You can get any rarity in the pack on those cards. Then you go commons, common common I've seen borderless you know throughout common underworld thug we got the glamour guards and uh, we're gonna actually do this we got our uncommons we got our patroller we got our cartel spacer Ooh, look at that borderless no good to me dead that's what a borderless looks like folks so that's uncommon for you um, and this is, uh, you know, an action or event type of card. So that's how that looks. And then for our rare, this is where the potential slot would be for our legendary. And here is our foil, restock borderless common foil. Okay. So obviously you want the borderless foils. That's like the hardest to find. In my opinion, the card quality on this is, and we talked about this earlier today, not the greatest. They're kind of flimsy, doesn't feel good. The foil card quality feels a lot better. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Okay, so we got, see common, whereas the last one, Emperor Palpatine was a rare. We have a borderless common tower, okay training sympathizer patrolling I haven't really seen a lot of people doing openings on this so I thought you know what I'll pick up a couple extra pre-release kits and show you guys the force is with me this is an event um, here we go that's our rare it's a lightsaber okay that's an equipment like an upgrade and here we go our common foil So far, the pre-prices on this are kind of wild, as, as always. Okay, we got our another leader here. Actually, it's the same leader that we had in the last one. Um, then we have our uh, borderless um, base. That's the Dagobah Swamp. Resilient. Okay. See another borderless coming in. What do we got here? Open fire. That's our common. So the common borderless is, you know, like an alt art type of thing with an additional number at the bottom. No good to me dead. 97th. Han Solo. And what do we got? Foil Rebel Assault. 
So given that there's one foil in every pack um, of any rarity, some of those, I've, you know, not seen a legendary foil. Um, we did pull a borderless legendary card, but there's our rare leader, and you know, you have the backside to the leaders as well. The base, and then the backside to the base is tokens. So, Academy, Peace, Sympathizers, Troll, Okay, Strike, Operative. We got the Scout. We just saw a Scout, I think, already. A little Electro Staff, rare, borderless. Another rare. I had no choice. And a Foil Common. Uh, see, I don't really understand how you can have two rare slots like that. I don't, I'm not really sure what's going on there. I don't, I haven't figured that out yet. What do we got? Common, Grand Moff, Base, Vanquish, Tank. Soldier. Droid. What do we got here? Foil sympath or I'm sorry, borderless sympathizers. What's our rare? Wedge. This means it's a unique where you can only have one on the battlefield at any time. Change of heart, uncommon foil. So keep in mind we actually haven't pulled a legendary yet, and this is our sixth pack we're opening now. So Legendaries are definitely very legendary. I did pull a borderless Yoda, even though he's only an uncommon. There's our legendary Mace Windu, there. Ambush, comes in with an ambush. Ambush is like haste, but you, can only, you can't attack the base, you can only attack another enemy unit and then we have a java java yeah. okay mace so we're on to our pre-release pack two what do we got here chewbacca that's how i was playing okay wampa guard thug smug ATST. All right, Sabine, 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 Sabine. All right, I'm going to drop, drop, drop. See, but we haven't even pulled a foil rare, so that's how hard some of these are to hit. Oh, we got something good in the back, folks. Common, that's Leia Organa. Um, I got annihilated by Leia. Guards, Jetta, Defender, Lackeys, Rogue Operative. See, that's just that art looks great. Force Choke, Tie, Patroller. Okay. Common Borderless Foil. But all the friends are there. Like, Borderless Foils in general, I think, are going to be pretty rare. we got here grand inquisitor okay they, they have announced that there's gonna be two more sets of this stuff at least so they've already announced the next two sets um, it plays good it's definitely easier than magic the gathering um, which is has its pluses and minuses to be honest time will tell if they overprint this stuff the devastator legendary borderless holy cow boom holy cow so this card, I don't know, could it be $100? Maybe, maybe, I, I mean, some of these things are so early, nothing's even listed yet. Um, so that's an awesome pull, very awesome. Um, we're gonna just put that guy up there. And we still got a sneak attack. And that's our foil, okay. So that borderless legendary, I mean, 
you figure how rare that is, right? I've opened five of these now, and I, that's my first borderless legendary pull. Sympathizers. Viper. Forces with me. Okay, wolf. Oh, rare foil. Okay. It binds all things. Okay. It's another good one. Well, so far this box was one of the best. Oh, there she is again. As a leader. Okay, there's our uh, Cloud City borderless. Cloud City. If there's a lot of demand for this, I may I may stock some Jetta Agitator in my um, on my site. Allow folks to go and buy some from me direct. Okay, so this is a base where it has less health uh, HP, but gives you an ability. And then we got a common. Last pack. Thanks for tuning in with me. Um, let's see what's going on. Uh, last pack here. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the card quality? Do you like the uh, art? Like, what are your thoughts? This is the uh, Dagobah Swamp. Okay. Security. Fleet. No, we know we don't have a borderless foil. Precision. Bamboozle. Oh, another one. Home one. And we got a... What's this? Admiral. That's an uncommon. Okay. So we got another legendary. And uh, I'm not sure, not sure what to make of it. But, again, I don't, I don't know what the value... A lot of these legendaries I'm seeing around $15 on eBay each. So, I, I don't know. Things will spike and go crazy depending on the game and depending on what happens. But... Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll talk to you all later.